All right, in this video, I wanna talk about the expected value of a constant times x. And we know that, that this equals the constant times the expected value of x. So what we wanna do is we wanna show the math behind why this is true, okay? So let's um, start by remembering what is expected value. I'll write that over here. Um, the expected value of a random variable x equals if x is a discrete random variable, it would be the sum over x times x times the um, PMF of x, or probability mass function of x. Um, if x is continuous, it's the deriv derivative over all the possible values of x of x times the um, cumulative distribution function of x dx. Okay, so this is by definition, this is what expected value of x is. So now, if I wanna find the expected value of a times x, this would be, um, in the discrete world, uh, if x is discrete, I would basically, instead of having x there, I would plug in a times x. So I'd have a x times the probability mass function of x. Since a is um, does not uh, involve x, right? It's just a constant, like the number three, for example. Um, I can basically, I can pull it out of my sum and I'll get a times um, the sum over x, x times the p, p, probability mass function of x. And then we can see that this is uh, the expected value of x. So I can say, okay, so this is a times the expected value of x. Okay, so if x is discrete, I've shown that this relationship is true, okay? And then we can do this uh, same thing. If x is continuous, um, we have a times x. We would integrate over x, and instead of having x there, we would have ax, the probability uh, density function of x, dx. Since a is a constant, it can be pulled out. So I have a times the, um, integral over x, x, um, f of x dx, and this by definition is what the expected value of x is. So this is a times the expected value of x. Okay, so um, we've shown, um, this, is, so this is the proof basically for why you can pull a constant out of an expected value. Um, you can see that it comes out nicely uh, just by um, the fact that it doesn't depend on x, it comes out um, of your of your sum or your um, integral, and that's basically how it basically comes out of the expected value.